Alright, hello everyone, Dan Two Times Fifteen here alongside the one half of the Tag Team Champions, Connor Fifth the CWA. Cruiser weight action here tonight. And let's just say we got a hell of a main event for you. But before we get to that, let's get going to tonight's first match. Oh yes, let's do that very much so. Well, welcome back, Connor, and well, here comes Angel Gaza, one half of the Los Lothorios, and you gotta be impressed with, with the, the Los Lothorios. I don't see why I have to, but I'm mild, mildly impressed by them. And the following contest! False count anywhere matchup is about to go one on one in this false count anywhere matchup against A Kid. Oh, Angel Garza better better get her mind better get his mind off uh, blowing kisses to the female fans and focus on his match. Indeed, but uh, I guess what? Uh, I got some, I got some news for you. What's, you know what? what's your news? Well, um, I hear that uh, there's been a mysterious attacker that's attacked a kid before the match, and he's getting this mysterious attacker is going to replace a kid in the matchup right now. Really? So, who is this mysterious? What? Yeah! <laughs> what? Okay, well... <laughs> Look, Dan, I don't know if you know this, but I have a feeling this is going to be very one-sided. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're damn right it's going to be one-sided. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to CWA's FAFW's John the Gardener. <laughs> hey, look! WWE wants to go to war! You can go to war, buddy. This is just what yeah, you can give. Yeah, and the FAFW was is giving that chance a Survivor Series. Hey. Look, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you this. From now on out and the build up to it, we're going to invade all the shows. And here comes John now. <laughs> is that right? That is already right. Starting, already starting strong against Angel Garza. Starting off strong, falls count anywhere. Look. Start it. Not his central Gaza's fault. He got it was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sending in the Calvary for every match tonight. You spoke every to my man. Look, you spoke to my mom earlier before the show, and she was fight ready, but he, she's not going to get involved with the next matchup of the eight woman uh, battle royal. Where the winner will face Shotzi on the very first episode of CWA of the brand new CWA. Oh man. I think it's best no one gets involved in that eight woman battle royale. Darkhead animation. Which one is it? Uh, oh, so Jesus, I forgot about that. You gotta remove that. First of all, on stocking animation, I literally cannot grab him. I don't worry. Can you not? Oh no. 
Just do running attacks, I guess. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Are you seriously? Oh my fucking god. Uh, Alright, that's done. Okay then. What take? Well, then what do I take to? Yeah. Okay. Now, man, this is what I'm talking about. The invasion starts here. John the invasion. I hope you know you're poking a bear, because you seem to forget who runs the company now of WWE. Oh yeah, who's that? Some guy. Triple H. Look, Triple H. You got. I got two words for you. Suck it. You do forget that this is the same guy who raided, who invaded WCW and led NXT to a full-on invasion against SmackDown and Raw. True, but he didn't have this big A show, the number one show, FAFW. He didn't have all these guys that in real life could beat the living shit out of you. So, come on. He had these fake... Wrestlers! They want about him to beat up a fly! And there's the chance shots that I told him to dish out to Angel Garza. He's doing his damn job! Connor, look. You're on FAFW Superstar 2. And I am happy that you also, of all people, have got a WWE Championship. You also seem to forget that I'm also the SmackDown general manager. So I'm letting you know this right now, Dan. If I see any FAFW superstar on SmackDown, they are immediately getting escorted out of the building. Oh, trust me. We are planning to invade every single one of these A and B shows. Hmm. This includes Raw. Smackdown, WWE Legends, all throughout the next, what, three weeks? Just wait until you see what I've got in store for tonight's CWA Championship match between Logan Paul and Rey Mysterio. Hey, watch it! We're not paying for another table! Oh, it's fine. I think it's only your. I think it's only fine because it's not your guy getting slammed to the table. <laughs> there we go. Boom! There you go. There you go, John. And now I'll just finish the fight. The we killer. Hit him. Come on, Wrath. There you go. John picks up the victory. That he does in a well, a table smashing performance. <laughs> I promise. Okay, the, John is the only guy that's here tonight from FAFW. And why do I not believe that? <laughs> oh, wait, hang on a minute. Look who's up in this very special VIP lounge. Uh, but it's uh, two of the members of my team, WWE. It's my brother, and, and it's also Champagne Charlie. How convenient. Yes, how very convenient. Here live in Springfield, Illinois, getting their own VIP lounge. They're just there to witness CWA crumble beneath FAFW, and John was the first man to do that. But we got Hall of Famers, Jerry the King Lawner, to tell us about the next match. If it's not him, then it'll be some random bozo. I think his name is Mike or something. That will introduce us to the next matchup. So, whoever it is, can you take it away? Well, up next.
We have huge eight women's over the top rope battle royal, where the winner gets to face Shotzi on the first week after Survivor Series. <laughs> there you go. FAFW 1, WWE 0. I have a feeling they're gonna, they're gonna be eating those words, because like I said, Triple H will not take this kindly. Well, the you, do seem to forget, you do seem to forget not only do I work for you, I also work for him. This is true. But you gotta, I'm gonna see where you're, you lie at that Survivor Series. And you chose an FAFW because you went off the edge for his crown. So I appreciate that. No, 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 I didn't do it for you, I didn't do it for WWE, I did it for myself. I'm going to beat Edge whether on whose side I'm on, alright? Alright. But, speaking of someone that uh, John admires very, very much, here's Alexa Bliss! It's an eight-woman battle royal, ladies and gentlemen. And... Oh, the these women are hungry to win. Indeed they are, but there is an added stipulation to this matchup. Uh, whoever wins uh, this matchup will face Shotzi for the CWA Women's Cruiserweight Championship on the very first episode of CWA on WWE 2K23. For the championship. What do you make of that? All I can say is that I think I think a lot of tactics will be shown here. Underhanded and well, teamwork. And oh. Cor oh, hey, tell you what, Corey Graves is going to be happy to see this woman. It's Carmella. Yeah, but let's hope that Carmella can can win this match. Considering I think she's going to be facing a lot of adversity here. There's a lot of good talent in the ring in this night at Women's Battle Royal. And, well, let me ask you, out of all the women that are in this match, who do you think has got the, a better advantage? Uh, it all depends on what, what you think an advantage is in this match. But let's break it. I don't think... I don't think we have to worry about anyone being thrown over the top rope immediately. Uh, someone gets really sloppy. But... I think Alexa Bliss may have a bit of an advantage here. I mean, what about Taya Lee? I mean, a woman that came through that tournament of one half of the Asian, Asian sensations alongside her tag team partner, Asuka. Problem with her tag team partner, she has to worry about uh, tons of people in that ring, but with no partner to come help her. Oh, of course. You can form alliances in here all you want, but in the end, it's only it's only one woman for herself. Indeed, it is, and and a big opportunity for one of these women. When it was a shot seat on the cruiserweight women's championship, it's it's gonna be a great one. And well, here it comes our prize fighter, someone, you know, Sonya Deville. From Shimon, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. What can what can be said about her? She's got a lot of pride. She's got a lot of pride. No pun intended. There was no pun intended from you. <laughs> But, I mean, she's got a oh, big MMA background, isn't that right, Connor? She even spoke to you before the matchup, and you could tell me, what does she have to say? One thing and one thing only. Everyone over the top rope but her. You know, we will that find out if she ends up winning this matchup, as we're going to take a short little commercial break. Here comes Natalia! I believe the last woman to enter this matchup. And their opponent 
Do we have the uh, yeah. Baszler, Nikki Cross, uh, also enter. Before uh, we came back, I believe the only true veteran veteran in this match. Yeah, I would. Uh, you would have to look out for those big moves such as Natty by Nature. And even the shot shooter, like, even though that won't be necessarily for the Battle Royal, but Natalia, you know, can use it to injure her opponent enough so that she can eliminate her opponent. That is true, there's nothing wrong with using submissions in a Battle Royal. And here we go, folks, and let's keep your eye on this one. Is, well, because Dicky Cross. Take it down, son of the bill. Now, Nicky Cross got rid of that stupid superhero gimmick. Don't know, thank you God that you did. Because, uh, you know, she's more deranged now. And you have to imagine that maybe... Wait a minute, hang on a minute here! And Alexa Bliss! Go! Shayna Bliss! Yeah, boys, no. Surprising first elimination. Indeed. Yeah, I thought maybe she was going to last a little bit longer, but what happened? The women, what happened to the women's tag team champions? Shayna Bliss gets eliminated. Ooh. Alexa tried to uh, eliminate Natalia, but Natalia retaliates. <laughs> I can't help but keep my eye on uh, the uh, cardio that uh, Shayna Baszler's putting in. Hey, well maybe she's just doing it to also keep an eye on the match. <laughs> stop it now, stop laughing. This is some serious business. Uh, oh! Natalia with a power one. A nice sit down power bomb. And now. Oh, wait a minute, Sonya Deville looking to eliminate Zia Lee. Not yet. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so now we're doing a beat down, Alexa. Oh, there goes Zia Lee by Nikki uh, Cross. Dropkick by Tris Stratus. That's what that's happens when you don't pay attention. Yeah. That's what the WWE Legend, Nick, former WWE Legends Women's Champion, Trish Stratus, is in this matchup. And as you know, technically speaking, Trish is, of course, a cruiserweight. So she is allowed to compete here in CWA. DDT! Mm. Oh, no. Not that those two eliminations, uh, you might be right, Alexa Bliss might be the biggest threat here. Nikki Cross going off the hello! Pulse, he hangs on! Oh no! There goes Alexa! Look at oh. that. You know what? I think Nikki Cross is actually doing alright, you know, she's had two eliminations. Well, but keep in mind, the more eliminations you get, the more of a threat you are in this battle royale. And speaking of eliminations, Carmella eliminates Tris Stratus. That was a big elimination for Carmella. You gotta imagine Corey Graves is gonna be happy about that one. Uh, so much action here tonight, Connor. You know, this Battle Royal, of course, uh, FAFW's John getting a pitiful victory earlier on against Andrew Gaza. And, uh, Which, by the way, he earned by attacking CWA Superstar A-Kid. Yes. And which I have now received word from the doctors in the back. The A kid is well suffered a neck injury due to that vicious attack, and he's going to be out for quite some time. Ooh. 
Jesus Christ! But not all the fight I love, blow! Well, it's about who I am. Anything's illegal. Jesus Christ, though. Wait a minute, Nicky Cross! Oh! That was right in the, uh, well, you know what? Yeah, it was. Nicky Cross, I can tie you down with an arm drag. I don't. Don't want as a fireman's carry. Look at Sonya Deville looking to eliminate Carmella by going after her. Oh, the power. Oh, what a reversal! I think. No! Ooh. Suplex sidewalk slam by the Sonya Deville. Ooh. Which of these the are the my... Connor, do you think he's going to end up going to face Shotzi for the women's championship? Oh, at this point, I think it could be anyone. It could be any of these four women. Uh oh, wait a minute. No, <laughs> Natalia. Oh, there she goes! Oh no, look at Sonya. She is ready. She hasn't been in a main event match on a championship in quite some time. And there's Carmella! Oh wow, Nikki, has, uh, Nikki Cross has actually Ooh. been on a tear in this matchup, eliminating three superstars. And she gets a knee in the face for her whole, for her hard work. Yeah. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Nikki Cross! Come on, swing and neck breaker! That's actually her signature maneuver. Can she eliminate Sonya Deville here? She does! And Nikki Cross is going to be facing Shotzi! Oh, well, Nikki Cross just eliminated half the women in the Battle Royale to win. Yes, she did! Wow! How insane! Unbelievable! God damn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after that huge battle royal, we got a huge championship match, and god damn it. Uh, you mind if I say it since you seem conflicted? You know what? Jerry Lola can have a break. Go on. The next match will be. Logan Paul versus Rey Mysterio. You know what? Excuse me for one minute. I'm gonna go up and well, I'm gonna go up to the VIP lounge where Champagne Charlie uh, and my brother are. Thank you, have your fun with you. And welcome back. Unfortunately, uh, Dan has decided to leave his work area and this the Cruiserweight Wrestling Action Championship. That it is. And here comes Logan Paul, a close friend of mine, but someone who Dan just can't seem to get along with for some reason. For those asking asking for for me to go get him, unfortunately I can't. I'm getting paid. <laughs> I'm getting paid to sit here and commentate this match solo, which I do not mind. Now Logan Paul has to have learned from this mistake from last time with Mysterio. If he hasn't, then I'm going to be slightly disappointed in him. But he's been uh, quite. But he he has an opportunity which many in the back definitely want. A shot at Rey Mysterio and the CWA Championship. Now, if Logan has learned, we could have a new champion. However, Mysterio also learns from every match. Which, something tells me that Logan will have something up his sleeve, or Mysterio will. However, I'm mostly concerned of those in the VIP section. Look, after what happened in the first match tonight, I'm just on edge. I know I'm an FAFW superstar, and I'm supposed to be happy that our side, that the FAFW, 
has a victory over CWA, but at the moment I'm more concerned as a Smack as a SmackDown general manager. Keep in mind that half of the half of the superstars on here are SmackDown competitors. So I am slightly worried and Oh, Rey Mysterio and Logan Paul have to watch their back because I know that up there in the VIP section that something is going on. However, I have a feeling this will be a stellar match. Rey Mysterio looking to defend his CWA championship yet again against Logan Paul. And this has to wonder in Mysterio's head if Logan Paul has someone that has, <laughs> is going to pull anything dirty. But let's face it, Logan Paul is not afraid to play dirty. Now the problem is, is that is that is, <laughs> is that how he does it? Holding that championship up high. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. Logan Paul, ready to win, I think, his first championship here in the WWE. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, he is the Come and I'll be back on commentary and I hurry so that you can see there's nothing stuff inside right next to you. My brother and champagne Charlie. They're, yeah. they're here to observe, okay? They're not gonna say anything, they hurt to observe. Okay, here we go. Hey, mm. oh, what I miss? Anything else? They didn't miss much. The match just started. Okay, okay, with championship. As you can hey, hey, Charlie, my man, my man. Hey, Bradley, how's the kids? I'm gonna count this, so let's watch this match up. Yes, and don't do anything stupid. We're not gonna do anything stupid. Look, I know champagne. Uh, uh, what's that, Charlie? It's getting hot in here? I know. Take off the jacket, it's fine. Oh look, look how convenient no, no, you're wearing your wrestling gear underneath your jacket. It's convenient. Mysterio gaining a lead on Logan Paul. Ooh, kick to the face. Oh, what a maneuver, what a moonsault. Oh. Mysterio going high risk, high rewards. Yeah, what you're about to witness is... Uh, a disappointment of a matchup because Logan Paul is going to lose to Mysterio once again. Yes, and he, yes, and your friends here will remain out away from the ring area. Uh, I know Champagne Charlie took his jacket off and he even took his beads off and hey, he's placed them on your lap. I hope you enjoy the little present for you. <laughs> I'm not afraid to hit, drive your head back into the ground, Charlie. Don't push it. Oh no, he was mocking Eddie Guerrero, god damn it. Well, that's what happens. People mock other people. Oh no, wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh, oh. this isn't good. Okay. I believe this is very good. Hey. Hey, uh, but this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Kick out, Ray! Oh, thank god. You know, I don't, I don't get your hatred of Logan Paul. I don't I, get your hatred of Logan Paul. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't think I've got a bad feeling about this, boys. Uh -oh. 
Come on, boys! What the fuck is this? Hey, you son of a bitch! I understand. <laughs> I just call it two cowards who are afraid of a fair fight. So I see it. There is no Bradley Spear. There it is, the drunk, the drunken fury. <laughs> Doesn't get back up. I think it's time to die, my brother ends this Mysterio up to Bradley Spear! There you go! <laughs> Team FAFW 2 WWE 0 What do you make of that? Your precious Logan Paul is now been destroyed by FAFW. I don't see FAFW. All I see is a bunch of cowards who decide to pick someone up, decide to beat someone up during a fight because they're too afraid to go face them head on. That's what I see. <laughs> well, all I can tell you is that we are, we hit the first, took the first shot. But not your best shot. Alright, okay, what do you got then? Hmm? Mr. Jones? All I got is, all I is that Triple H has just sent me a message. And this all is for all WWE superstars. Go ahead, bring it Triple H. If any FAFW Mem if any member of FAFW shows up on a WWE show unannounced or uninvited by him, every WWE superstar, it is free season. <laughs> Alright! And I, I tell you what, I got an announcement too! You know, I, I, hey, on the next episode of FAFW, but I think it's the episode before the pay per view. I'm going to do an open in invitation. I will I will put out my champions. All four of my champions. Stephen Jones will be in a match. Gary will be in a match. My bro uh, my cousin Scott will be in a match, and my cousin Lee will be in a match. And it, any form, you can message Triple H now, any form, WWE talents can come over to England, to FAFW, and uh, challenge any of those members to a match. And it's not just any match, every match will be under British rules which means that there's no disqualifications no count outs and it's two aged match is two out of three falls bring it on and so with that being said I'm down two times fifteen on Xbox Live, YouTube, and on Twitch. And until next time, it's a goodbye from me. And a goodbye from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, click on the Master Chief icon to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch the previous video, click on the one on the left. If you want to watch the playlist, click on the one on the right.